all alone in the corner? Oh, well, I figure since we've spent so much time together lately that uh, you needed some space. Thanks. Because I just put that space in your face. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, just play ball, Teddy, all right? All right, come on. Next basket wins. Check it out. Guys, what's up? Oh! Hey, watch it. Oh. Excuse us, Christy. We didn't mean for our game to get in the way of your little nature walk. Oh, sorry. I'm a little out of it. Just found out some credits for my old school didn't transfer. So now I have to write a paper. I could really use your help. If your topic is 101 things to do with string cheese, I got a paper you can borrow. I got a B minus. Well, actually, it's about the benefits of playing team sports. You know how a team teaches you to help each other? Sort of like what you do with your family. Well, come on, Christy. We don't do that much for each other. Yeah, at least not enough to write a paper on. Yeah, we're just a team. We just play together. Hello? I don't see balls bouncing. I'm trying to convince the team how much we help each other. That's great, Christy. Why don't you help me by stepping off the court and letting them finish, all right? I've been waiting for over an hour to play next game. Not until I prove to you that the team helps each other more than you think. You remember when you guys helped Teddy quit smoking? Or when you helped Danny with that bully? Whenever you get the urge to smoke, it will pass through you because you are a Halloween. <laughs> Repeat once again. I am a Halloween. <laughs> no, it's Let it in, let it out. This is weird. I'm so in tune with my hollow reed, I actually smell cigarette smoke. <laughs> hey, Teddy's smoking! <laughs> Guys, if you really want to help, don't try to talk me out of this. Didn't you learn anything from Sensei? Yeah. I learned this. Yeah! No. We're talking about what he said. About not getting suckered into fights. Come on, if I don't show up, I'm gonna look like a wimp and have to watch my back forever. Oh, okay, so you fight this guy and you beat him. It's still not over. Yeah, the guy could be psycho. We can come back with some of his friends or a gun or something. Danny, it never ends. The only way to win is to not let it start. So you're saying I should just go straight home after the game? As the sensei would say, go home or you're nothing. Look, guys, I don't know if I can just walk away. Nice kick, I could hit you. But what's the point? To prove that I got you this time? And what about the next time and the time after that? No. This ends now. I got better things to do. Get out of here! The only reason we help each other out is because if one of us gets in trouble, the whole team suffers. Then why do you help each other out when it has nothing to do with the team? So where's Nick? Home packing. He's going back to France. He's going back? What happened? I don't know. The guy's weird. He totally changed. Well, so is different. Everyone in your family doesn't have to be the same. My sisters are the same. They both wear their hair in a braid and... They pluck out that extra eyebrow that grows across their forehead. <laughs> They're identical twins. They're supposed to look the same. Look, a family's like a team. Everybody has a different role. You wouldn't expect a three-point shooter to be a rebounder, would you? No. Then why do you expect Nick to be exactly like you? Think about it. Sam. Nicky. Wait up. I want to talk. It took me a while to realize that it's okay we're different. We're still brothers. And the truth is, no matter how weird you are, I still love you. Demodus? Demodus. Christy, thanks for the memories, but... We've got a game to finish. Yes. All right, let's go. Ball in. Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. uh, 
the pig. I got the pig. I got the pig. Oh, off, off you. you. What are you talking about? What off your hand? Off my hand. It totally went off your hand. Got you shy. Oh, come on. Off your knee. Off your knee. Will this game ever end? No, no, you know what? No, that, you, that has nothing to do with it. No, no, absolutely not. You touched it last. Well, if I touched it last, how come I saw go off your thumb? Oh, it went off my thumb. What's with Siskel and Ebert over there? They're arguing about who touched the ball last. And I wish they'd stop, because I'd like a little help with my paper. No problem, Christy. I'm on it. Is no, this how two of Deering's best players and one of the cutest couples treat each other on the court? Yeah, yeah what's it to you? Nothing. Christy, you're on your own. <laughs> No, you guys. If it weren't for you being on the team, there'd be no you guys. Guys, I want you to meet Michael Manny. He just transferred to Derry. Cute. Ooh. Worth the wait. <laughs> hey, Michael. I'm Julie. Connor, Con you broke my nose at basketball camp, remember? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. I sank both foul shots in my team once. Team line. Hello. I have a problem. Okay, go ahead. Well, I like this boy, and I don't know how to get him to like me back. Need me help? Uh, no. It's a girl trying to get a guy to like her. I can handle it. You know, I have a friend who has the same problem. Oh, really? Well, what did your friend do? He played hard to get. That's what always makes a girl want the guy more. Actually, I hear it's the other way around. If you want someone to like you, you gotta be in their face whenever you can. Could you hang on a second? You know, maybe I should tell her the best way is to just tell the guy and quit playing games. Ooh, this is it. This is it. Julie, I like you. I like you too, Michael. Man, that was so easy. I can't believe how much I was stressing about telling you. Wow. I feel so much better. Now what? Now. This. They're right. I'm sorry for yelling at you, Michael. Don't apologize to me. Kiss me. <laughs> Danny! Kiss me. Oh. Look what you guys did. How are we going to finish this game with the whole team kissing each other? Oh, that's great, Vince. You got another ball stuck in the tree. And that woodpecker's up there. Oh. 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 Why are you always doing stupid things like that? Hey, Vince isn't the only one on the team who does stupid things. You all do. Uh. Vince? Ma'am? Sir? Oh. We're here to get tattoos. No. Kermit or Big Bird? <laughs> no. We're thinking a tad older. Uh, do you have a catalog we could peruse? Our catalog? Peruse this. Oh. <laughs> oh. That one looks like it's breathing. <laughs> It is. Oh. I've also got pit bulls playing poker on my back. Want to see? No, 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 no. You're lost. Before we start, fill out these forms, huh? Okay. Uh, check this out. Uh, we're not liable for infections, discoloration of skin, mm -hmm. scarring, or painful death. Get out! You're making that up. Oh! Oh! It hurts. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Did we say tattoo? We meant ta-ta! <laughs> Look, cooking is about creating something from scratch. Not heating up something. Now, why don't you guys try making me an omelet? You got it, Chef Fullardy. <laughs> <laughs> One omelet, Julie, egg me. Me. Now, Julie, when I want you to hand me an egg, I want you to hand me an egg gently, like this. Oh! No, 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 no. That's not what he meant. This is what he meant. 
Oh! <laughs> oh, no, 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 Daniel. What Brother Theodore's trying to convey is the following. Oh! Ah! <laughs> drinking that punch, are you? Yeah. Isn't it fresh and fruity? <laughs> it should be. It's spiked with vodka. <laughs> Let's just go home. All right. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. We can't drive. We've been drinking. We came in Fuller's car. How are we going to get back? Michael, Michael, you got to drive us. In Fuller's car? I got to have my dad's car home tonight or I'm living in the garage. <laughs> You two haven't been drinking. Can you take us? No way. I'm not touching Fuller's car. Shh, me neither. I know Coach. He'll dust for fingerprints. All right. Everybody get into the van. We'll come back tomorrow for Coach's car. Hey! <laughs> Thank you, Mikey. You're my hero. You see, we all do stupid things. Mm -hmm. Look, we need a new ball or this game is never going to end. Well, I've got the keys to the equipment shed. Who's coming to get the ball? Not me. Not me. me. Well, I guess that leaves only, uh, Christy. Me? Okay, fine, I'll go, okay? But only because I'm a good friend, a good teammate, and a good Samaritan. <laughs> You're only doing it because you got next game. That, too. <laughs> Was I that obvious? Like a zit on the end of your nose. <laughs> Guys, what's up? Just taking a break. From what? Nothing. Make sure you stretch afterwards. Actually, everyone's helping me with my paper on how team sports helps with personal relationships. Oh, I can see that. I mean, you're all like family to me. Sometimes when you do great things, I feel like a proud coach and a proud dad. Or a proud god daddy. <laughs> I hear that because when you first came to Daring, you weren't exactly what I expected. I remember you. This is just great. You win one championship and suddenly nobody wants to work anymore. Well, it's a good thing my godson's moving to town. I played with his dad on the Rockets, so he's probably great. Hey, coach. Hi. Excuse me, I'm kind of busy. Hey, you didn't happen to see any tall guys out there look like they were lost, did you? Oh, waiting for a new player? Yeah, my godson. I played with his father, Theodore Brodus. Theodore Brodus? Superman Brodus? His son is playing for Deary? Oh, he's probably just like his dad. Smoother than glass, taller than a skyscraper, and able to stuff baskets in a single bound. What else could he be? How about smoother than glass, taller than a toadstool, and able to eat a Twinkie in a single chomp? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, God Daddy? You're Theodore Jr.? Ooh. Theodore Brodus Jr. But you learned to love me and even save my butt a few times. Yeah, you've been there for all of us, Coach. Well, I know it's not really the same, but I treat you guys like you're my own kids. If you need my help, I try to be there. Yeah, like the time you got Kobe Bryant to help us out when we got hustled by those Cal you guys. Oh, oh man. Man. Come on, man. Money, you'll be hustlers just like them chumps. I want you guys to get out of here and I'll make sure your coach hears about this. Oh. Thanks for being there for us, coach. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to know you got our backs. Hey, I care about you guys. Well, we care about you too. But you know, 
You wouldn't be the big man that you are without us little people to make you look so good. What are you talking about? How quickly you forget your little bout with Brickitis. Oh, and the, man, no, 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 no. And the time we had to help Coach control himself when BB tried to push his button. Yeah, but he didn't want. Coach, guess what? Got good news. Your father and his friends are going home. No, oh, silly. I told Daddy about the little shooting problem, so we made a few calls, and now you're off the hook. I am. How? Because I got Gary Payton from the Sonics. Oh, Gary. Gary Payton? You got the glove to shoot instead of me? That's right, old man. The word is that, that you've been throwing up so many bricks that the school's passing out hard hats. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, this old man has made more shots by mistake than you've made in your life. Mm-hmm. Step aside and let a real shooter help these kids. <laughs> a real shooter? Man, Gary, you shoot like you got gloves on both hands. <laughs> now, I hope you brought your umbrella from Seattle, because it's about to start raining threes. All he needed was a little push to break the slump. Fuller, looks like you got another entry for your low light reel. Uh, remember, smile. <laughs> Congratulations, BB. You guys were the better team. Oh, give up on the let's be good sports rap. You know you can't pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, BB, I've given in to your big mouth enough times in my life. I'm not going to stoop to your level anymore. <laughs> now, come on, Fuller. Now, I know how you'd love to hit me with this. Man, it's not gonna work. I'm better than that now. You don't have the guts to do it. Oh, I got the guts. I just don't want to do it. I do. You see, when you think about all the times we've had together, you have to admit that being on this team has helped us all. Yeah, Chrissy is right. You guys feel like my brothers and sisters. I like that. Yeah. And I like being part of this team. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes you put your shorts on inside out and can't find your pockets. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> what do you say we call the game a tie and go get some pizza? Sounds like a plan, guys. Hey, can I get cheese in the car? Well, I got plenty of great stories from my paper. And I even got the title. Team sports builds great friendships. Ooh. I just gotta chill. I love being clever. <laughs> okay, I've got a new ball. Now let's finish this game so I can play next. Danny, bad news, buddy. There is no next game, is there? No. But we're going to get pizza. Will you buy me a slice? We'll buy you two. Come on, big fella. I was so close. Oh, oh. that's my...
being a counselor. You don't have to do anything. Yep, especially at this camp. With coach in charge, we can get away with anything. Uh, I wouldn't say that, Vance. Are you kidding? The guy's clueless. We just sent all the kids to their bunks and he'll never know. I wouldn't be so sure. No, really, you'll never know. <laughs> coach? Oh, man. Look, you guys are here to teach these kids how to play basketball. Not scare them off with bear stories. Hey, something with big teeth growled at me. Of course, it could have been a very angry bunny. Tomorrow, I'm going to the airport to pick up our guest instructor. Who is it, Coach? I want it to be a surprise. Now, I know this is the last weekend of camp, and we're down to just a few kids, but I'm leaving you guys in charge. No goofing off, you got it? Who will be completely goofless. Guys? What would you like more than anything else in the world? Ah, uh, to be a towel boy on Baywatch. <laughs> How'd you like to go to the Music Palooza Festival this weekend? Are you kidding? I've been trying to get tickets for that for weeks, but they're sold out. Well, guess what? Papa's Pizza's having a contest tomorrow, and the winner gets free tickets to the concert. Very nice. Well, how are you so oh. sure we're gonna win? It's, um, a pizza-eating contest. <laughs> This is the event for which I've been training my entire life. Coach, this package is for you. Wow! You could have just handed it to me. Sorry, there's a mosquito on your head. Oh, well, well, well. What, what, what? This is a quarter my great uncle left me in his will. Only one quarter? Doesn't sound like such a great uncle to me. No, this is a 1918 standing Liberty Quarter. It's worth $5,000. Here, look. Oh, wow, you have to take real good care of this. You know, I'll put it in the camp safe so nothing happens to it. Good idea. <laughs> Mosquito? Not anymore. <laughs> Having a picnic? No, the functions are for the kids. They're waiting by the lake. Hmm. Then you better hurry. <laughs> hey, Beth, can I borrow some change for the soda machine? Sure. Hmm. Must be one of those Canadian quarters. Never happened to me before. I'm not hungry. 
Maybe my stomach shrank from not eating all day. What? Well, we can kiss that concert goodbye. Oh, yeah. I'm not missing that concert. Move over, lightweight. <laughs> that girl eat. for tomorrow afternoon, not Saturday. We have to work tomorrow. I ate all that pizza for nothing? Oh, I'm definitely gonna be sick. What are we gonna do? Coach will never let us off to go to a concert. It's too bad we can't take the kids with us. Yeah, right. We can't take the kids away from the camp. That's the coach's number one rule. It's only for a couple of hours. What if we brought the kids here? Yeah, the concert's just a few blocks away. We can take turns watching them while the rest of us go over there. I don't know. Mary Beth, what do you think? I'm still trying to figure out where Christy put all that pizza. <laughs> Come on, Julie. The coach will be at the airport. And he never has to know. Michael, it's not like you to think of something so sneaky. I'm proud of you, man. Hey, I've been waiting to see this concert for months, and there's no way I'm missing it. Hey, I'm with Mike, and I'm getting my appetite back. Anybody want to split a pizza? Oh, oh. Vince, I am so dead. Well, this machine is going to be so dead if it doesn't give me my soda. No, Vince, this is important. Coach gave me this rare coin worth $5,000 to put in the safe. I totally forgot, and when I went to get it from my purse, it was gone. Wait a sec. Was it like a funny-looking quarter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw it? Yeah, I know exactly where it is. Oh, Vince, I love you. I used it in the soda machine. Vince, I could kill you. <laughs> well, you're moody. Well, well, we've got to get it back before the coach finds out. All right, counselors, hustle up. Oh, almost, almost. Now, look, the weather is supposed to get really bad later, so have some indoor activities planned for the kids. I'm going to the airport, and I'll be back in a few hours. And remember, you guys are in charge. Hey, don't worry, coach. You can trust us. I'm counting on it. Huh? All right. You drive safe, the yeah. coach. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Teddy, get the kids. It's concert time. I got it, buddy. <laughs> All right, campers, this is the part of camp where we show you there's more to life than just basketball. Yeah, we are going to take you on a little nature hike through the woods. That's stupid. <laughs> and at the end of the hike is all the pizza you can eat. Let's go! All right. <laughs> hey, Julie, you coming? I don't know if we should be doing this. You heard what Coach said. Well, it's not that big of a deal. Yes, it is. We're responsible for these kids. It's not like we're going to be leaving them alone. The kids will have fun and we will too. Besides, what can go wrong? Come on. All right, we're here. See, Julie, everything's going fine. OK, head count. We got Max, Peter, Robin, Linda, Quan, Pat, and Nick. Where's Nick? Oh, no, we lost Nick. Oh. Gee, who was it that said, what could go wrong? Oh, here he is. Come on, Nick, how many times do I have to tell you, okay, you stick with your buddy? Now, who's your buddy? You are. Oh. <laughs> All right, who wants pizza? Me. Well, I don't. Yeah. You want some No. All right, I'll take the first ship of the campers. Who wants to stay with me? <laughs> Okay, then I'll just have to pick someone. It's a good idea. It's only fair. Yep. <laughs> hey! Don't worry, Dano. The opening bands stink. Besides, we'll have fun with the kids. Come on. You can't come until next week? But this is an emergency. I dropped a coin in the machine and I can't get it out. Yeah, I know that's how the machine works, but... Oh, forget it. Oh, and one more thing. Your soda bites. Any luck so far? <laughs> Yeah, I got my arm unstuck. What about the coin? I don't know. All this work is making me thirsty. Do you have any change? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Wait a 
minute, Vince. You just gave me an idea. We're gonna leave the country? <laughs> no, we are gonna drain all the coins out of this machine. Nope, keep feeding. We still haven't found the coin. Now what? Wait. I got an idea. Okay, B11? Okay. Everybody who has B11, mark it with your pepperoni. Boring. No, you're supposed to say bingo. No, this is boring. Yeah, we want to go back to camp. Yeah. 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 Let's go back to yeah. camp. Christy, maybe we need to go back to the potholder puppet show. <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If. Come on, you're not singing. We're not happy. Teddy, that concert's going on way too long. And the weather's getting really bad. We should get the kids back to camp. Yeah, good idea. Bad idea. Coach just pulled up. No. Oh, if he sees us with the kids, he'll kill us. Um, come on, kids. We're going back to camp. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. But we're gonna take a detour through the back door. <laughs> hey, Bill. Thanks again for picking me up at the airport. Oh, come on, are you kidding? It's my pleasure. I mean, wait till the kids find out that Cheryl Swoop's coming to camp. Wow. I hope we're able to get the clinic in this afternoon. I heard there were tornado warnings. Yeah. Hey, Pop, turn the radio up. Let's see what they're saying about the weather. I'll jump in the soda machine, we'll lift up, and then crash down and bust open. But you could really hurt yourself. That coin is worth $5,000. Okay, just don't land on me. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Vince, are you all right? Did it work? No. <laughs> I have another idea. All we need is a canoe and a can of tuna. Vince, no. No more stupid ideas. If you hadn't been so stupid, we wouldn't have lost Coach's coin in the first place. Okay, Michael, I've got a bit. That concert was awesome. I can't believe you stood right in front of the speakers. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, Coach is here. What? Hey. What are you guys doing here? You know, we, we, we got hungry. Uh, that is, the kids got hungry. From so much basketball and... Hi, aren't you Cheryl Smoots? Uh, I'm sorry, Cheryl. Why don't you meet some of my camp counselors? This is Julie, Michael, and Danny. Hi, nice to meet you. Coach has told me all about you guys. Hey, aren't you Cheryl Swoops? <laughs> weather advisory for all of Hunter County. Hey, Papa, that's us. Turn the radio up. A tornado warning is in effect until further notice. Uh, maybe we should get that pizza to go. Where's Teddy, Christie, and the kids? Oh, no. We've got to tell them. Uh, Coach, there's something we have to tell you. Did they find that? No. Teddy, I think we're lost. The wind's blowing so hard, I can hardly see where we're going. I'm scared. Oh, then don't worry, little man. Don't cry. Everything's going to be fine. Just fine. Ah, ah. Come on, everyone. Let's stay together. What do you mean you hope Teddy and Christy and the kids are back at camp? We were supposed to meet them here after the concert. So you broke my rule and left camp with the kids so you can go to your concert? Well, yeah, but we were still watching the kids. We didn't think anything like this would happen. Well, that's exactly why I have those rules. Look, 
I'm responsible for the safety of those kids. And I obviously made a mistake thinking that you were responsible too. They've got to be somewhere between here and camp. Sure, do you mind staying with these guys? Of course not. Do you want me to call the police? It's a good idea. I'm going to go see if I can find the others. tornado. I've never been so scared in all my life. Now I know how those cows felt in Twister. <laughs> Vince, I'm sorry I called you stupid. I was upset about losing the coach's coin, but I shouldn't have said that. Do you forgive me? Well, maybe you should apologize some more. <laughs> Mary Beth, Vince! Are you okay? Yeah, we're fine, Coach. Christy and uh, Teddy and the kids, are they here? No. Oh, no, but don't worry. They're at Papa's Pizza with Julie, Michael, and Danny. No, no, they left just before the tornado hit. What? Coach, did they make it back? No, I'm afraid not. Let's hope they're okay. Cheryl swoops. Don't tell me the tornado blew you in from Texas. <laughs> Anything happens to those kids, I'll never forgive myself. They're here, and they're not dead either. Teddy, Christy, I'm so glad you're alive. Now I'm gonna kill you. But coach, Teddy and Christy saved us from the tornado. It just missed us. We were so lucky. I mean, it was unbelievable. Things were flying everywhere. And Teddy sat on top of me so I wouldn't blow away. <laughs> Kids, I'm so glad you're all okay. But now, go back to your bunks and get cleaned up. Yeah, all right. good idea. Uh, 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 not so fast. I'm not done with you guys yet. We're sorry, Coach. We let you down. We made a huge mistake. Coach, it's my fault. I talked them into bagging our responsibilities here so we could go to that concert. No, Michael. We were all wrong. We didn't have to go with you. Now I know why you have those rules. Yeah, being stuck outside was bad enough. But seeing those kids that scared... Oh, it was the worst moment of my life. We deserve any punishment you give us. Guys, look. Punishment isn't the point. Finding out what went wrong here is what's important. Besides, what you went through is punishment enough. True that. Look, I'm glad you're all okay. Why don't we start cleaning this place up? Cheryl's still got a clinic to teach. Only if you can get the baskets off the roof. <laughs> and the soda machine off the court. Soda machine? Look, free money. wants to know your most embarrassing story. Go online at the max at NBC.com and tell TNBC your true story of total embarrassment. We can fix that. You are on. A story that's so embarrassing, so outrageous. Excuse me while I transfer schools. That TNBC Ooh. will announce your name on the what? air and post your story online. I feel like an idiot. Don't beat yourself up. It's easy. Go online at NBC.com. Write your most embarrassing story and in two weeks TNBC will announce the winner. Got it? Wink, wink. 
Come on, Vince. Let's win this thing. Oh! Time out, Badgers. All right, guys, don't worry about it. Let's go. Vince, look, they called that timeout just to mess with your head. So forget about the first one. Yeah, just hit this one, send it to overtime, and we'll win it there. Okay, Vince, stay focused. No need to worry. Okay, nothing to worry about. Yeah, don't worry. I wasn't worried. <laughs> now I'm worried. <laughs> All right, hands in. On three, worry. I mean, daring. One, two, three. Daring! Let's go, guys. Come on now. Knock it down, Vince. We're shooting one. Ball's in play. the state championships in Bloomington. Yeah. <laughs> road trip, road trip, road trip. It'll be so cool living in the college dorms. Yeah. yeah. Chilling with the college ladies. Oh, yeah. yeah. Checking out those cute college guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <clears throat> hey, it's the V-Man. <sighs> hey, guys. What's up? I was all night. I couldn't sleep thinking about missing that foul shot. Still? It's over. Let it go. I know, but what if I do it again and Michael isn't there? Then it'll be the T-Bear coming out of nowhere. Fly through the air, so don't despair! <laughs> Guys, I can't count on you to bail me out every time I'm at the line. Look, forget about it. Let's just win the next one so we can go to Bloomington. Road trip! Road trip! Road trip! Go ahead. <laughs> I'm team manager. It's my job to find the perfect gift to thank Coach for a great season. I think I got a great idea. How about a cute little kitty? How about no? <laughs> well, then you come up with something. Kitty hater? I already did. What do you think of this jacket? It's nice. And it's in the team's price range. But Coach has his clothes custom made. We'll have to get his measurements without him catching on. Why not just borrow one of Coach's jackets when he's not looking? Oh, that's so sneaky. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Anyone here? Coast is clear. Come on, let's get Coach's jacket. Isn't this breaking and entering? No, it's breaking and measuring. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if we get caught? We'll get arrested, we'll have to go to trial, we'll end up in jail. We're gonna miss the prom. <laughs> because we're not doing anything wrong. Now let's hurry. We've got a jacket to steal. <laughs> Shirts, pants, shoes, socks. 
Oh, no. There's no jacket. What? Wait, if all coaches' clothes are in the locker, then what's on the coach? Me! Mrs. Jones! Mrs. Jones! Oh, my gosh, she's here! Oh, Daddy, who's gonna be in the locker room? Hurry up, hurry up! Oh, quick, in there! Oh. We meet every day at the same cafe. 6.30 and I know, I know, she'll be there. Oh, this is strange. I thought I locked this. Well. <laughs> oh, not bad, big guy. <laughs> Me and Mrs. Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Any more bright ideas? No, but someone's underwear is on your head. <laughs> TV will help. Vivian, there's something I must tell you before I uh, go. What is it, Rex? Vince Damata's the worst free throw shooter in the world. Huh? Tonight's weather calls for a 100% chance of Vince missing another foul shot. Maybe tomorrow, sunny. What? Anoche en la sopa, una persona que es muy malo, Vince Damata, el Choco. Shh, he's sleeping. Let's scare him. Oh, you're bad. I try. Okay, guys, on three. Ready? One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Not here. Hey. Ah! Don't sneak up on someone and scare them like that. It is so junior high. <laughs> Let's go. We're going on a six-mile training run. Huh. Start without me and finish without me. What's the matter? You didn't sleep last night? No. That's two nights in a row. I usually never have trouble sleeping. I know. I've seen you sleep in lots of places. Yeah, math class, English class, history class. You should bring your bed to school. Did you guys know that between the hours of one and six, Saved by the Bell is on eight times? You can't live like this. You're not still upset about that foul shot you missed? No, I'm worried about the ones I'm gonna miss. What am I gonna do? Okay, this is the only way to get the coach's measurements. Got the pen? Check. Ink? Loaded and ready. Are you sure squirting him with ink is the best way to get a shirt? No, it's a stupid way, but it's the only way we got. <laughs> coach, do you mind autographing your old basketball card for me? My old card? Sure, I'd love to. Ooh, that mustache. What was I thinking? <laughs> Here, use my pen. Whoops! I meant whoops! Let me see this. Oops. <laughs> My shirt. Mary Beth. Mary Beth, what are you doing? I don't know. I, I, I just lost it. I'll go see a guidance counselor, but first let me have your shirt. I'll have it clean. Okay, Beth. We're going to help you work through this anxiety thing. Now, to get over your fear, you have to face it. We're going to put you in a game situation. Mm -hmm. When we're through, you'll be hitting foul shots in your sleep. If I ever get to sleep. Okay. <laughs> it's the fourth quarter. Score is tied 78 to 78. And there's no time left on the clock. I said no time. 
It's all right. I'm, I'm only one guy here. <laughs> no time. Game's over. Bye. Uh, 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 stress boy. You were fouled at the buzzer. Now you have one shot to win the big game. The crowd goes wild. Danny, crowd, please. I only have two hands. <laughs> It's a crowd, they're yelling, go with it. Okay, Vince, the ref hands you the ball. I don't want it. Don't take the ball. Now shoot it. Vince, Vince, he's our man, he can do it, we know he can. <laughs> Just shoot. championships for all of us. Hey, coach. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, Vince. What's up? I don't want to play today. Why not? Because I'm totally stressed out, and I don't want to lose the game for us. What are you talking about? What's stressing you out? All I think about is that foul shot I missed last game. What if I choke again today? Nobody's going to blame you if you miss a shot, as long as you're out there trying. I mean, in my career, I missed plenty of shots when it counted. Everybody does. But if it comes down to me, and I blow it, we don't go to the championships. Everyone will hate me. I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. Vince, if you give in to your fear and don't play, you have to live with that for the rest of your life. You gotta put this in perspective. How do I do that? It's only one game. I mean, even if you miss a free throw, everybody's life goes on, including yours. I don't know, coach. I'm so tired, I don't know what to do. Look. I want you to play, but I can't force you. Now, the game's in a few hours. You should get some rest and think about it, all right? <sighs> Maybe I should get some rest. On, playing guard for the Bulls. And I'm his coach. First woman coach in the NBA. I still got skills. Yeah. <laughs> hey, is that you? Yeah. I'm working Vegas, babe. I do an act with a couple of helpless camels that'll blow you away. <laughs> so what happened to Teddy? Why are you singing? I quit basketball to be an opera star. And now I drive a fancy car. <laughs> and you still have the line, the free throw line. You must have lost your mind. <laughs> I'm trying to make that last foul shot so you guys won't be mad at me for blowing the big game. What big game? 
That's glorious, remember? Yeah, sort of. I remember being bummed for like an hour and then we ate. <laughs> None of that matters anymore, babe. You mean to tell me I've been trying to shoot foul shots for 10 years? And you guys aren't even mad at me? Why would we be mad? I mean, you always tried your best, and that's all that mattered to us anyway. Mm -hmm. But off the line, and your life will be Guys, look, this is it. We win this one, we go to the championship. Where's Vince? I don't know. We looked all over. We couldn't find him anywhere. Guess the anxiety really got to him. All right, well, we'll just have to play this one without him. Maloney, you're up for Demata. Let's, Let's get it in. On three, road trip. One, two, three, road, road trip! Okay, guys, look. We're only down by seven. The Warriors are double teaming Julie and Michael. Danny, you're gonna have to find Teddy so he can hit some threes. They wouldn't be doubling us if Vince was around. Where is he? I don't know. Nobody's seen him. Please, where's our Vince? Give us a sign. Whew. Hey, guys. <laughs> wow, it worked. Can I get a date with Tyra Bates? <laughs> what have you been doing? Sleeping. Did I miss anything? Yeah. <laughs> Only half the game. <laughs> what? Vince, are you ready to play? Yeah, coach. D-man's back. All right. All right. Let's play, babies. All right, then we'll get suited up and let's go out there and win this game, guys. All right. Road trip! Road trip! Road trip! Road trip, baby! Hey, Danny. Yeah. It's you ever get a chance to play Las Vegas? Don't go. You got it, baby. Hey, Danny. Yeah. It's you ever get a chance to play Las Vegas? Two, five, white, basket counts. One shot only. Relax and put it in. It's just one game. Guys, I'm proud of you. You too, Vince. I knew you could do it. Thanks, Coach. And Coach, for a great season, we all got you this. Oh, thanks. Oh, man. Wow, this is really nice. Go ahead, try it on. Ooh, yeah. Very GQ, Coach. <laughs> oh, this is terrific. It fits perfect. It's so... You're welcome, I think. <laughs> Mary Beth. Ouch! Is this jacket lined with lamb's wool? 100%. Uh oh. Ouch! <laughs> I'm allergic to lamb's wool. <laughs> it's stuck. Get, get it off. Get it off. Get it off. Get it off. The Saturday mornings, TNBC is King of the Road. 
Watch out, man. The TNBC Roadhogs are riding through your town. They come from all walks of life. They all go to school, and they're only on TNBC. Yeah. The people have been hard. City guys, hang time. Saved by the bell, the new class. Saturday morning like it was meant to be. I like it. Right on. In the safety of your own living room. With TNBC Saturday.